Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick one, just doing a unboxing of the November ballot box. So it finally arrived in my mailbox this week and I'm quickly sitting down to do it tonight so you'll have to excuse the face and all of that. I've been at work all day, my makeup looks pretty trash. So quickly going to unbox it and kind of discuss how I feel about this month's um, box. I've already opened it because I was going to do a get ready with me using some of the products, um, but I can't. Um, and I'll explain why as we go through it. So it came in its normal little blue box this month. And when we open it, we get our information card, which also has a online masterclass of service available now for a certain amount of money, um, wrapped up as it normally is and the products that we got in it this month. Now, the obviously the hero product of this month's box was the Steve Laurent um, lip gloss. So if we look at this, it says here that it is just a lip gloss. Okay, so I got mine in the shade Dusty Rose and it is just a pot of lip balm lip gloss. I'm not going to swatch it because it's very unlikely I am going to use this product so I might find it a better home. Um, now that product is worth $31 is its recommended retail price which I think is kind of crazy for a lip balm lip gloss product. I mean I haven't tried it so I don't know it could be the most amazing thing ever but I'm like yeah. The next thing that we got was a Essie um, Treat Love and Colour Nail Polish. I got mine in the shade Lavender Dearly and it's actually quite a nice little shade. It's kind of a little bit if we want to use the term holographic, um, light lavender colour. I'll have to actually try it on my nails to see how it is, but I'm always happy for a nail polish. And that, it's recommended retail price is $17.95. And then, we kind of, that's kind of where it falls down. So the next thing that we got in this was a daily um, Dove, daily moisture, moisture shampoo and conditioner. Now I can go to Big W and pick them up for a couple of bucks. Um, kind of like, yeah. We then got a Bioderma Gel Cream. Okay, this is a 15ml sample, light moisturising care for normal to combination sensitive skin. Um, I have dry skin, so we'll see how it goes. You know, it's something I might, I will try, but it's only a little sample of it. The full sample, the full price for 40 mils is uh, $42. So we're kind of looking at, you know, if we want to quickly do the math, about a $15 sample there of that. And then the last thing I, we got was the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration Lotion. So this is an SPS 50, which I think is kind of good. I'll probably take this. I'm going on a cruise um, in January. And I, don't, I tend not to go out in the sun a lot, but it's a 12 hour thing, so that might be something I throw in for that. And for 180 mils, it's 16.99, and we've got a 60 mil sample of that, so a third of that. So, you know, we're looking at around the $6 ish mark, I guess, just under the $6 mark for that. Now, I quickly kind of did the math, and we're kind of looking at a $65, $70 box worth of products. But this one is kind of the disappointment. I'm sure I'm not alone when I say that we kind of get these boxes because we want to try different makeup. Like, I know I, I have hinted that I like makeup. Uh, that's kind of where my um, interest lays. I have a box full of cleanser samples. I have a box full of moisturizer samples and it's great. I've got to get through them and I'm unlikely to use them up and 
It feels like it's like that never-ending supply of these and I don't know I'm just I was just a little bit disappointed with this month's box um, You know the makeup product in this that lip gloss doesn't blow me away It's not something I would have I'm crazy about tr like wanting to try um, and Yeah I don't know how you felt about the box if you get it um you, you know, it's one of those things. That, the problem is that in Australia, we don't have many sub, like beauty subscription boxes to choose from. So this is kind of pretty much it. If you know of what I search quite regularly, I'm still hoping for the rumour that uh, BoxyCharm or something will be shipping internationally. If, and if that happens, I'm going to be a really happy lady. But I don't really have another way of kind of trialling different products. So I keep getting the subscription and it's kind of nice getting it every month, but just disappointed a little bit with this month's one. So it was late and then, yeah, the products didn't blow me away. So you'll have to let me know if you get it, what you thought. Um, as always, it's be great if you could um, subscribe, share, comment, all of that kind of good stuff. And remember, be kind, be strong and be a warrior. And I'll see you later. Bye.